Hi, Misha here, and I promised you some more aircraft videos. You know, I do the 172 scale diecast most of the time, although sometimes I will go to 1 in uh, 144 if uh, it's appropriate. And I also kind of have a compulsion to buy anything that's in a NASA paint scheme, which is very funny considering I can't actually see it. But I actually do like them. They, they, the NASA schemes tend to have a very glossy finish, and they tend to be very clean and sleek. And this is one I've wanted from Hobby Master for a while. In the past, they did some FA-18 Hornets in the NASA delivery, but they have not for several years until 2022. Just last month, they released two of them. One was an FA-18A single-seater from 2005, the Dryden Flight Center, Edwards Air Force. And this one is an FA-18B from Dryden, Edwards, actually hit it at Armstrong Center. And it's from 2012. And I wanted it because A, it's the two-seater version. And B, this was done kind of to commemorate when two of these actually escorted the shuttle Endeavour on the back of a 747 as it was being taken to its final resting place in California. So I thought that was kind of an interesting well, celebration. But uh, yeah, the FA-18 series. Done several videos on it. And of course, these are flown by the U.S. Navy, the U.S. Marines. They were fighter aircraft and attack aircraft, replacing several other aircraft in the fleet. In fact, for a while, there was a basically an all hornet fleet very versatile plane about 56 feet long a wingspan of about 38 to 40 feet depending on the, the rails and uh, reasonably fast at about Mach 1.8 max altitude of a little over 50,000 feet two engines and again the the A model single seat B model two seat C model single seat D model two seat so on and so forth I've always kind of liked this little aircraft it's not super big and egregious it doesn't quite get the glory like say uh, you know an F-14 I'll turn the light on for you doop doop but it's understated it's very workmanlike in a lot of ways it's kind of the navalized version of an F-16 and NASA used the F-16 for research and other purposes as well as the F-15 and beginning excuse me beginning in 1984 they started acquiring a handful of F-18s from the US Navy and uh, some sources say they got two single seaters and one two seater others say two and two and some sources claim that they acquired extra surplus ones some have been retired, and they still are flying them today, so, you know, things wore out. And these were not being used as primary test aircraft, not usually. Although there was the F-18 Harv, which is kind of a story for another day. But mostly these were used for pilot training and proficiency. And they were used as kind of flying camera platforms, either video or still photos especially the twin seater and probably most frequently they were used for escort and chase duty just to have another set of eyes or in the case of this one two sets of eyes in the sky as other aircraft were doing their thing for research they were actually very valuable to NASA and have flown hundreds upon hundreds of missions it's just a good dependable aircraft the twin engines give it redundancy. Again, it's relatively small, at least for a modern aircraft. It can lift over 12,000 pounds, so that means it can carry quite a few, uh, bit of equipment or fuel. And it just kind of adds to my NASA set. So I decided to pick one up from Hobby Master. Before doing this video, I just was double checking the dates to make sure I had them right in my head. So I went to Flying Mule. I did not buy this from Flying Mule, but I went to see what retail was. And 
120 bucks, 119 dollars plus shipping for the two seater, 115 for the single seat. So you kind of see why I haven't been buying many uh, aircraft. Even at the reduced price I paid of about 75, 80 for this, I'm not really keen on buying too many anymore. It's just kind of priced them out of being fun, but. I'm at an exception for a NASA aircraft. Plus, I, w I did want to have a few new planes to show you. So, here we are. Looking under the fuselage. It's pretty clean except for one tank. On these, when they don't have anything under the wings, they plug the holes. Of course, being a hobby master, they do gear up and down. This is one of those that they actually give you two separate canopies for open or closed. And of course, you can display with the pilot figures in or out. Typically on the NASA planes, they give the pilots blue jumpsuits instead of the typical green or brown. And this does have an air brake that comes out of the back. Like the canopy, there are two different pieces. You can plug in an open one or a closed one. So it's not actually hinged. That's because it would be a little ugly to have a hinge there. But it is a nice mold. Pretty much all metal. Big metal wing. And tail. In fact, yeah, the entire tail is metal. And uh, all but the tip of the nose is metal so even though it's a relatively small about nine inches by six six and a half it has some decent weight in the hands but I have a pretty good number of uh, Hornets that I picked up over the years I really like them I think they're really neat aircraft But just wanted to share this with you. And I do think that it was neat that this one's patterned after the ones that escorted Endeavour home in 2012 after the end of the space shuttle program. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Hope everyone's having a good week. And I will catch you very soon next time.